Hey guys, the objective of this video is to do the moment distribution for the 1.2G plus 1.5Q case. So, just to show you, we're looking at the 1.2G plus 1.5Q case. So I've taken the values in the previous video for W. So for the outer spans, we had 95.3 kilonewtons per meter. And for the inner span, we had 114.6 kilonewtons per meter. The other piece of information we need are the stiffnesses for the column and the two beams. So the column was 4.76 times 10 to the 6 with E beam of that span and that span, the 8 meter span is 3.69 times 10 to the 6 and the beam with the 10 meter span in the center is 2.96 times 10 to the 6. Okay, so we're going to be using all these values now to work out the moment distribution. So I've done it in Excel already, it looks like this. We're going to be going through it line by line just to understand it. So the first thing we want to do is have a column for joints. I'm going to zoom in a bit as well. So we have a column joint and we have joint one, joint two, joint three, joint four. So that corresponds to one, two, three, four, the four joints. Okay, so that's line number one. Line number two is the member. Now at each joint, we're going to have a different number of members. So for example, at joint one, we have the column upper, the column lower, and the beam going from one to two. Okay, so I denote that one upper, one lower, and the beam going from one to two. Now at column, at joint two, we have the beam going from two to one, we have the beam going from two to three, and we have the column upper and the column lower, all right? So just like that, we have the beam going from two to one, column upper, column lower, two upper, two lower, and the beam going from two to three. Joint number three, we have from three to two, from three to four, column upper and column lower. So we have from 